sorry to pick up once again on the fact that, uh, again, Mr Glass has said that you, ladies and gentlemen, in the room are propping up uh, anti uh, or pro-dictator regimes, that you in this room are doing deals with Saudi Arabia. Ladies and gentlemen, the West may have made and has made grotesque errors in propping up dictators in the Middle East. But we also manage, uh, manage not to prop them up. We've also, if you like, we have the antidote to poisons within us. Can that be said of other societies to the same extent? And please note Mr. Dalrymple's use of the word we. It was we when it was people carrying out massacres in the West, in the past, your forebears. It was only we when it's us doing bad things. When is it we expressed by Mr. Dalrymple of pride of what the West has done? That he cannot bring himself to do, and I hope you note it, ladies and gentlemen. This is masochism, and it's being offered to you by a sadist. <laughs> right. Um, I make no apology for reminding um, the audience in this room about Western history. I'm a historian. Um, and I think, you know, if we forget what we've done, so much of Western colonialism simply isn't taught in our classrooms. Uh, the history of the de extinction of all these hundreds of different tribes and peoples who we have driven to extinction, we don't know about this. I particularly make no apology for mentioning the Holocaust. Uh, the Nazis were certainly not afraid of asserting the superiority of Western values. Oh, goodness. Uh, no, it's a very serious point. with that. It's a very serious point. And they contrasted their Western and their rooted uh, yes. German values as they saw it. No, it is an absolutely serious and essential point. Can you, point. That with can you yeah. Sorry, please, please I'll ask everybody else to stay seated so you get more talking time that way. Unless you, unless you actually no, want I'm, to. I'm happy sitting. Very good. Um, okay. I'm the, so um, Mr. Dalrymple did, however, um, just make an allusion there. He talked about the West's uh, virtues. He talked about it being rich and productive. He did not focus, for instance, or even mention the fact that it is also free. I think this matters, ladies and gentlemen. He was counting the amount of money you make, not the virtues of your life or the values of your systems or the rights that you enjoy. Um, I'm quite uh, loath, in a way, to mention uh, Iraq, but somebody just did. This is usually the moment at which I start to lose the debate. But um, uh, I would, since most of you have read it anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, the, uh, 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 the Iraq uh, would indeed be a much better place if the parties of God were not killing our secular friends and allies there. And I think it's a grotesque thing to hold the West and Western values and liberty and freedom and democracy and the rule of law. Blame them for religious fundamentalists blowing up our secular allies. And I hope you noticed that, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and why, why we compare them with Muslim values, I agree with the lady. We could have focused on, on Buddhist values. We could have focused on any other types of values. The reason why it kept on coming back to it is, as you know, because this is the matter of our time. And it is not hard at the moment to notice the calls for the different type of societies that people want to create. And that there is a clear difference. And I hope, ladies and gentlemen, when you vote for the right side tonight, you make this clear. There is a difference between the Western states, which practice their own values that we sometimes mistakenly call Western values. And yes, we should call them them liberal values, and yes, we should call them universal values, but we identify them with the West because they came from the West, because they were nurtured in the West, and that they are hopefully, I hope you will agree, asserted by the West and believed in by the West. We are the people that can spread this. Thank you.